Hello, it's Brendan again. Reflection number six. See my reflection in the mirror? Cool. Um, not mirror, window actually. Anyhow, um, this last week was all about digital footprints and that sort of stuff. And uh, as we talked about last week, uh, I, it, um, the digital footprint uh, is one of the least understood and I think most important um, concepts we, we need to get across to our students and, and our parents. Uh, the idea of how much information we're leaving out there um, for companies, for whoever, to, to track us and keep an eye on us is, is, um, is really disconcerting when we, when we get to know about it. So I think that's a very important thing that we, we need to start teaching our students right away. Uh, we also need to teach them that um, they really need to start participating online and, and showing uh, their best foot instead of just whatever they share with their friends. I think they need, we need to teach our students that uh, they need to be professional. They, they need to, to put a professional face forward online. Um, I think it's amazing. Uh, I was at the ICE conference, Illinois Computing Educators, um, and uh, there was a great panel of, of leaders in, in technology education. And really, the question was: um, Can teachers be allowed to say no to edu to technology? And, and the answer really is no. What other business in the world can you skip, uh, just say no to technology? Yeah, some person might in, in a individual business, but that individual business person will uh, find themselves losing jobs, losing work, because uh, other people have the advantage of technology. Um, maybe if uh, I were painting something, I don't need technology, but I need the technology to share that painting, uh, to, to market myself, to, to get the word out about uh, uh, what I'm doing and, and what kind of art I have. So um, these things are, you know, they're, they're non-negotiables, really. It's there somewhere in whatever you're doing. Uh, and that has to be an education, too. We, we cannot say to our teachers, we cannot let our teachers say, oh, uh, I've been teaching this way for 20 years, I don't need technology. Or they can say, they, they cannot say, uh, that's too difficult, I don't want to, I don't have time to spend to figure it all out, so I'm not going to add it into my classroom. I'm sorry, but you do need to add technology into your classrooms on a regular basis. Not for every single lesson, but at least on a regular basis so that your students can understand, can, can use technology in your subject matter. So, with that being said, I'm looking forward to next week as we start talking about the open education uh, resources. Um, I, I think it's awesome. I've been using open education for years. Uh, I think most teachers use some of it and not even realize it because uh, like most of us we we look for we don't have the resources we don't have the money to buy stuff so a lot of times we'll we'll, we'll search for a new um a free option and that'll lead us uh oftentimes into open source but open is a lot more than free um, and uh, as i'm realizing as i've I've slowly been realizing that I, I have an idea of what open is, um, but uh, I've never thought that, that my contributions to open could be um, missed or valued because uh, I am not a, a, a super technical person. I don't, I don't have great programming chops or anything like that, so I've never thought that my contributions could be valued. But uh, it turns out that they probably could be. And we'll find out maybe in the next two weeks.